everyone welcome to my channel DIY happy home this is Carla and I got this pet treat jar at the Dollar Tree and I plan on making a jack-o-lantern with it but before I start this project I wanted to show you where my inspiration came from I always wanted one of these gas can jack-o-lanterns and I decided to make a miniature version of one I also bought this pack of three plastic funnels at the Dollar Tree, and I plan on using the medium-sized one in this project. Now in the video, I show you this metallic paint from Folk Art, and at first I do paint one coat of this paint, and then I decide instead of hand painting, why not spray paint it? It's much faster and easier. So I will show you the spray paint here that I end up using. I use the Rust-Oleum uh, Universal and it's forged, hammered, uh, and it's for wood, plastic, metal, all sorts of things. Um, but this is the one I chose, it's Antique Pewter. I spray painted the, the base of the tree jar, the funnel and the lid, and I put about two coats on each one. I didn't want the paint to have a really shiny look, so I did sand it a little bit. I don't know how much this impacted the project, so you could probably skip this step. And here I am sanding, and then I decide I want to age the metal with my favorite Folk Art Home Decor Wax in brown. I lightly brush it on, and then I uh, dab it off with a damp paper towel. I do notice that the paper towel that I'm using has a little bit of texture on it and I do really like the look that it gives. It kind of gives this like honeycomb appearance which is kind of cool. So I do the same aging process to the funnel and to the base and the lid to the pet treat jar. And here I am giving you guys a close up of what it looks like. I decide I want to give a little more texture to the funnel itself. So I whip out my old school Elmer's glue and start adding some striping to the funnel. And here's what the striping looks like once it's completed. Once this glue dries, I'm going to spray it with the antique pewter spray paint again. And then here I am, it's dry and sprayed with the spray paint and I'm putting on another coat of the wax. If you are planning to do this project, I recommend you just put the Elmer's glue directly onto the funnel and skip the step of painting it first then adding the Elmer's glue. I do think it's worth the step to do the Elmer's glue. I do like the texture that it gives. I decided to add more of the brown wax to give it a darker aged look. And now I'll let it dry and I will make a jack-o'-lantern face on my Cricut. I used my Cricut to print a matte black vinyl transfer and I did measure on the pet tree jar how large approximately I wanted my jack-o'-lantern face to be so I could design it in my Cricut. Here I am peeling back my vinyl transfer and I'm getting ready to attach it to the base of my jack-o'-lantern. Please make sure your paint is dry or cured enough before you add the vinyl transfer, you wanna make sure that the transfer does transfer onto the jack-o'-lantern. And now I'm ready to peel back the plastic backing and the transfer is now on the jack-o'-lantern. I love the way it turned out. Uh, I did look for a gas can to carve and it was at an antique store and it was $40. So this project was basically a dollar for the pet treat uh, jar and a dollar for the funnels. And then the spray paint, I forget what it was, the price, but you can use that spray paint for so many projects. Um, so it's basically very reasonably priced. Uh, most people have Elmer's glue. Um, so I do hope you like this project. It really made me very excited. I'm thinking of doing one in a burnt orange color as well and trying to make that look rustic. 
Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you will subscribe to my channel. It really does mean the world to me when you guys subscribe. And also feel free to comment, like, and share. I really do enjoy reading your comments. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.